Since I was already on the topic of AT&T, I wanted to touch base on AT&T's partnership with the University of Tennessee at Knoxville. Um, and I know that you are really focused on and exciting about, excited about MM Wave technology. And, um, and this is what that's all about. So this partnership at UT at Knoxville is... Um, AT&T is installing a 5G test bed using MM wave spectrum. And, um, and I think that that is, you know, what we've seen is lots of MM wave expansion over the course of this year alone. We've seen, you know, Ericsson, Motorola, Nokia, Rakuten, Samsung, and others, you know, talk about sort of their efforts to support and expand this technology around the world. And that's really exciting. What I loved about this story, um, what I loved about this story is just kind of showing um, what what is possible. The, a lot of these universities, um, we've got the University of, T of Tennessee at Knoxville. Um, AT&T has also partnered with the University of Missouri. And a couple other ones, I have it in front of me and I just wrote about it today and I kind of forgot, <laughs> I kind of forgot who else they were partnering with. Oh, so uh, they partnered with Texas A&M, the University of Connecticut and the University of Missouri. And these partnerships were all about bringing private 5G networks to the universities. What this University of Tennessee partnership is about is really about this 5G testbed using MM wave spectrum. And what I think is particularly cool about this is a couple of things. One is some of these universities are located in more rural areas. And so this kind of coverage, bringing this kind of coverage to their research facilities opens the door to opportunities that could impact the community, the country, and even the world. Because what you have is students being able to take advantage of and work on these advanced technologies and, and experimenting with things like machine learning and biometric data and augmented reality and virtual reality. And to experiment and learn, you know, this is our next gen workforce, right? And so they have the ability to experiment with and learn on this technology that would maybe otherwise be cost prohibitive due to where they're located. So, um, so I thought that that was a really cool expansion of AT&T's partnerships with the universities on those couple of fronts. Um, I'm sure that you have thoughts on MM Wave expansion coming to a city near you. <laughs> right on. Yes. Now, millimeter wave uh, technology is definitely um, something that is integral to you know 5G's future. You know, uh, Verizon also is investing heavily in the technology, and uh, like our conversation, Shelley, about you know uh, 5G connectivity on cars, there's still some misperceptions about millimeter wave uh, technology. Right. Uh, it is high frequency. It is uh, typically implemented in the 24 gigahertz to 100 gigahertz range, and uh, so people think, oh well, you know that gives you a uh, higher bandwidth, uh, but distance is a trade-off. And it, that is intrinsic, uh, but what is not true is that it will just keep you know, bouncing off walls, it'll be difficult to control and manage. Uh, there have definitely been advances in, for example, beam forming, beam forming technology to make uh, millimeter wave technology more compatible to mainstream uh, deployments. And uh, for example, I think AT&T leveraging the academic communities in places like Texas A&M yeah. down the road from me in College Station and University of Te uh, Tennessee at Knoxville, which is a lovely, charming campus, uh, reminds us that academia can play a key role in you know, showing how we can even improve it more. And uh, so uh, in addition, uh, Verizon is betting on millimeter wave to enable, for example, their smart stadium offerings. Uh, that's when you step into the stadium, you want that enhanced immersive experience. That's a technology that's being used there, but also it'll play a role in what they're calling their smart home offering so that they have a unified network architecture to meet both the fixed and uh, the mobile needs of their customers. So they're not having to run a more expensive network. And the way that works is that you can offer obviously you know, 5G mobility, but also 5G fixed wireless access. Um, off, you know, fundamentally the same architecture uh, using uh, more uh, backhaul capabilities 
for uh, uh, any home, smart home connectivity, et cetera. So uh, this is all, uh, again, uh, illust uh, illustrating why millimeter wave is going to uh, be uh, essential for uh, many of the plans of the major uh, telcos and that some of the naysayers are going to have to dial back you know, their initial skepticism, which had some more, but now it's just uh, receding more. Absolutely.